Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, we're going to make our all-purpose cheese sauce. This is a yummy recipe that is going to be a great replacement for any type of cheese sauce or cheese base or cream base for a lot of our recipes like macaroni and cheese, casseroles, enchiladas, pizza. So watch this video, follow along the quick, easy steps, and you'll be on your way in no time. Hey guys, so we're back at the stove. So we're gonna make our cheese sauce in a large iron skillet. This is a 12 inch iron skillet. I'm getting it warm right now. We have it on medium to high heat because you want everything to be hot, hot, hot as we create this sauce. So our ingredients is going to be grapeseed oil, coconut cream, chickpea flour as well as milk now this is a mix of coconut milk and uh, the water that comes off of the coconut cream so I mixed half and half with that you can use almond milk you can use any any store-bought plant-based milk you can use homemade plant-based milk as well but we have about two cups to make sure that we're getting enough liquid once we create the sauce. We may need more, but we'll start with the two. So our skillet is getting hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in our oil. So that's about two tablespoons. Now, if you're making a small batch, you know, you can always use less, but two tablespoons is at least what we need. Now, if you're gonna do the macaroni and cheese with the sauce that you make today, you'll go ahead and once we're done, you just go ahead and dump in your cooked pasta um, once that's done. Now, this recipe, you can make the cheese sauce ahead of time, and then um, you'll go ahead and store it in the refrigerator. So if you're watching this video as part of the meal prep sequence, this is what you would, that's when you would do that. You would make the cheese and then you'll go ahead and put it into a container, okay? This can be made hot and then put into any recipe that you're doing, like the pizza, you go ahead and make your sauce, top it on, put it on top. But like I said, this recipe can be used later, okay? So we have our oil, it's getting hot. You see it spreading around the pan, just marvelous. And then we want to take our coconut cream. Now the coconut cream, this is half a cup. Now what you want to do with this coconut cream is mix it with the oil very, as evenly as possible, okay? You want those two to mix. Now this is your fat base. You know, cheese is mostly fat, milk cream. So we have our cream and our fat marrying each other right now okay and i'm sorry about the whisk but it just helps me get the sauce done now see how that's mixing very evenly okay all right and then we're gonna go ahead and put in our chickpea flour. Now this is a fourth cup of flour. You want to mix it around. It's like making a roux. You want to have that flour absorb all that oil, all that cream. It looks like I didn't get enough, so let's get a little more flour. Always have it on standby. You want to make sure that you have enough flour to absorb those oils in the fat. That is key, or your cheese sauce will fall apart. Okay, you see how it's pumping up? You want it to absorb every piece of it. And the chickpea flour also is key in having a thick cheese sauce. So this is very important. 
So it looks like we added maybe about another fourth, so about a half cup of flour. See, but you want us to get it like that. So now we're gonna break this down by adding more liquid. So this is just like making a gravy. So we're just gonna pour that in. And see how that chickpea flour is breaking down? It's giving us the color of cheese. And just keep pouring in a little at a time. Yeah, it takes a little bit of elbow grease, but you got it. There you go. Now you gotta break this all the way down so it turns into a salt. Like I told you, the more chicky flour you put it in, you're just making your cheese sauce thicker. So keep going. It's gonna be so delicious. I like mine a little thinner for what I'm using it for. But this really is perfect. Right here, if there's two cups of milk, now it's up to you. If you're gonna use it for something that you need to pour a large amount of sauce on top, then you might wanna add some more milk. But this two cups is just right. Now what I did forget is to put our salt in in the beginning. So I'm gonna go ahead and salt that up now remember cheese is salty so you want to make sure that you put enough salt in there so that your taste buds and everybody else can feel that you know this is a really cheesy sauce let's go ahead and just taste it oh yeah that's so good and we're done there you go, all purpose cheese sauce, ready to go. Now you can put this directly onto a pizza. I'm gonna add a little more salt. You can add some pepper, you can add garlic or herbs if you wanna spice it up. So you can put this directly on the pizza, you can put it in a bowl with chips, you can add your ground walnut meat for dips. The possibilities are endless, you can pour this on tacos and enchiladas. You can put it on top of a burger for a gooey, cheesy burger. It's just so many possibilities. I'm getting so hungry just thinking about it. So there we go. That's our all-purpose cheese sauce ready to go. It didn't take for what, seven minutes to get done? That was so fast. Tastes so good. I can't wait to eat. I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna get out of here. Mm, yeah. Mm. I'll talk to you guys later. All purpose cheese sauce. Best thing in the world. See you guys later.